this is the Mighty Oba here once again on CLB TV and the internet at WFOAM.com and on 1080 AM WFO Radio with our weekly sports update. A lot going on in the world of sports. Let me tell you something. I don't care what the Bills do the rest of the year, whether they win another game, but you've got to be impressed with the gamesmanship of this team and how they have not quit under Chan Gailey. This is a great, great opportunity for this team to continue uh, to make strides in turning the corner. But as of now, it won't be done with Sean Merriman. Sean Merriman is now on injured reserve. Uh, I think he came in here with the opportunity uh, to see if he could play, to see if he could show the league, if he could still uh, bring the heat like he did in San Diego during his Pro Bowl years. Uh, but that opportunity is now past him at this point because he still has the Achilles and calf problem. It remains to be seen whether or not he's going to need some form of surgery to correct this problem. Uh, but Sean Merriman, my best advice to him, and this is what I hope happens, because he is still 26 years old, I hope Sean Merriman will make a deal with the Buffalo Bills on a one-year contract next year that he, uh, if he makes the team and stays healthy, he comes back, and if he's able to play at a high level, that he would be considered for a long-term contract. If not, I think Sean Merriman is going to have a very uh, tough opportunity uh, to get the opportunity to get that contract that he so long desires, or that every NFL player desires to get uh, during this stage of their careers. Also being put on IR is my good friend Keith Ellison, I think right now this might be uh, Keith Ellison's uh, last uh, go-round with the Buffalo Bills. Uh, they've basically changed uh, defenses where they're going to need bigger linebackers. And Keith will get another opportunity with another team uh, that runs that 4-3 Tampa 2 style uh, defense that needs smaller linebackers like the Baltimore uh, Colts and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But he will get another opportunity in this league. He's been around for a lot of years and a very uh, good person. But the Buffalo Bills continue to make strides, continue to show the rest of the league that there's a lot of talent on this football team. And if they could have pulled off uh, more wins early in the season, they would be vying for a playoff spot. Uh, when Chan Gailey took over, I think he made a couple of mistakes, blew up a couple of things he really didn't have to blow up. Uh, but now it's starting to show itself. Also, I want to talk a little bit about the NBA don't get excited in Miami. It's going to take a little time, and then you've got to get the right coach down there. Uh, I think, uh, you know, you can criticize Phil Jackson all you want to, but Phil Jackson is telling you what we've all known all along, that Pat Riley will be taking over the Miami Heat sooner or later. He is the one uh, that needs to correct that ship with all that talent. Uh, there's no way that that team should be 9-7 and seven, uh, with that amount of talent. They need a coach that can bring them together and show them how to play together during an NBA season. That coach is Pat Riley. It's going to happen. Mark my word. Also, we want to talk a little bit about uh, my New York Knicks. I, I just don't think they're quite there yet. They're, they're, they're easier to look at. But they're one or two players away, and hopefully Carmelo Anthony uh, ends up in a New York Knicks uniform uh, much sooner than later. That's all for us here on the weekly sports update with the Mighty Oba. We will see you next week right here on our weekly sports update. I am the Mighty Oba.